Prince Charles has debunked one of Prince Harry's claims made in his bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. Charles, Prince of Wales, sat with his grandson Louis on his lap during the platinum pageant on the Mall, a parade to celebrate the Queen's 70 years on the throne. The sweet images broadcast to the world have thrown one of Prince Harry's explosive Oprah Winfrey interview claims into question. Daily Mail Diary editor Richard Eden noted on Twitter, Sweet TV images of Prince Louis bouncing up and down on his grandfather's lap while watching the platinum pageant are hard to square with Prince Harry's portrayal of Prince Charles as a cold father who never took him on bicycle rides. In the 2021 interview, Harry said he felt really let down by his father and claimed Charles had never taken him on bike rides when he was young, comments which the Prince of Wales was widely reported to be extremely hurt by. Journalist Richard Kay was one of the last people to speak to Diana by phone before her death in 1997 and was interviewed by police piecing together the events leading up to the Paris car crash. Now Kay has described how the tensions between Prince Harry and his father echo the rift between his parents in the 1990s. Kay wrote in his Daily Mail column, We understand that recent reports that Harry and his father are in frequent contact are wide of the mark. Prince Charles is often unavailable when his son calls and, because he does not have a mobile phone, Harry relies on officials to patch him through when he does ring. And that is often not possible. This is an extraordinary case of history repeating itself. At the height of the marital differences between Harry's parents, Princess Diana was similarly thwarted in phone calls to both Charles and other senior royals. And in both cases there has been an issue of trust. Harry has compared his and Meghan Markle's experiences to Diana's a number of times. During the couple's interview with Oprah Winfrey, broadcast last March on CBS, he mentioned his requests for help dealing with the media. When you can see something happening in the same kind of way, anybody would ask for help, ask the system of which you are a part, especially when you know there's a relationship there, that they could help and share some truth or call the dogs off, whatever you want to call it. Harry went further in the Apple TV docuseries The Me You Can't See, released in May 2021, saying, Family members have said, just play the game and your life will be easier. But I've got a hell of a lot of my mum in me. Kay suggested that the reason Harry may be struggling to get hold of his father could be an issue of trust in him. Recently after attending the Queen's service of Thanksgiving yesterday at St. Paul's Cathedral, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle paid a visit to Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, at Clarence House, the Daily Express reports, per OK. The visit came directly after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex attended the church service and didn't publicly interact with either Charles and Camilla or Prince William and Kate Middleton. The Sussexes sat in the second row beside Princess Beatrice and husband Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi and Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank and behind Prince Edward, Sophie, Countess of Wessex, and their children Lady Louise and James, Viscount Severn. Across the island on the front row were the more senior royals, like Charles and Camilla and William and Kate. According to OK, Harry and Meghan opted to skip the reception after the church service at Guildhall, perhaps to finalize plans for daughter Lilibet Diana's first birthday. At some point, According to the outlet, the Sussexes made their way to Clarence House for a chat with Charles and Camilla. After Harry and Meghan were driven out, Charles and Camilla left their London home as well. Harry and Meghan are keeping such a low profile this week that it remains unclear whether they've interacted with William and Kate at all. Since arriving in the UK earlier this week, we've seen the Sussexes at Trooping the Colour, watching the festivities from the Major General's office with other non-working members of the royal family. It was also reported that the Queen met namesake Lilibet that evening at Windsor. We haven't seen Harry and Meghan since the service of Thanksgiving, as they've likely been preparing for today, Lily's first birthday. Because of a pre-planned visit to Wales, we know William and Kate won't be in attendance for any of Lily's birthday festivities, though they did send well wishes on social media, as did Charles and Camilla. At the moment, it does not look likely that Harry and Meghan and William and Kate will meet up separately during the Jubilee celebrations, an insider told Page Six. Per okay.